All right, before I start editing this video, I wanted to make sure that I got this out there. So the guys who won don't miss this. For those of you who sat through my entire super long 300K live to die another day video, no, I was giving away an RTX 2060 graphics card. And the winner of that is Natural Born Gamer. So if you see this video, dude, feel free to leave your email here where I can get it or something, or you can contact me on Twitter. That'd be nice too. Uh, or wherever you're choosing. And this one's going to kill me. Oh my God, I can't read that. Gurkrit, Gurkrit, Sai? God, I probably have it wrong, dude. Don't worry, there's going to be like a picture of your name and the message you left. You've won a Ridge Wild of your choosing. Once again, please get in talk, please get in contact with me. You can email me or you can leave your email here. That way I'll know you are the person to get it. I have been a victim of people pretending to be people I know. <laughs> In real life, I'm sitting like, yo, dude, what's up? And it turns out someone's pretending to be Pixel. I had someone pretend to be D-Girl. Someone was trying to be Zeltex, but they didn't know how to troll correctly. So, yeah, I got to be more vigilant from now on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So thank you guys for participating, especially Gurkrit Sai. Uh, you probably sat through the whole thing. You paid attention to it. I was giving away a wallet. Maybe everybody else just didn't care to get a free wallet. Who knows? So thank you guys. On with the PO Boxing video. Thank you so much. Well, time to do the PO Box again. Fluffy's favorite day, actually. Well, one of Fluffy's favorite days. Your birthday's coming up, Fluffy. On September 27th, I think. If not, I'm sure someone else will tell me that I don't know my dog's birthday. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm alone. I'm a small dog, and that's fine. Make sure I don't leak anybody's address. Oh, this is a long letter. I might have to read this. Let's see. Dear Gundam, on your way rising into a prominent figure, and your popularity is continuing to rise steadily. It's been truly amazing watching your channel grow. I wouldn't say that I'm a prominent figure, dude. <laughs> For God's sakes, like games journalists in the major media has called have called me an alt right troll. Uh, I've been called a white nationalist. Somebody's got it wrong, but <laughs> whatever you know. Must be the dog. Uh, let's see. By the time you read this, you will have reached three thousand subs. Let that sink in. Well, he's right. I did just reach three hundred thousand subscribers last night. It was real slow because YouTube is punishing me. It took me off the recommended list because I debunked the uh, Equality Now movement on Twitter hashtag with all those rich female comedians telling us they're all like, they're trying to tell us in America that women are underprivileged and it'll take 208 years for equality to actually happen. Like cut this shit out. Then they go into the whole, they go into all the talking points, dude, of uh, Oh, women only make 70 cents to every man's dollar. And I went to the hassle of going to fam factual feminists to have statistics that were true and said by a woman. Because if I said it, nobody listened. I have that pesky penis. But if women say it, then they're more inclined to listen. Didn't matter. YouTube uh, was very upset with that video. I'm lucky my channel wasn't deleted. And I know a lot of people send me stuff they think I should do videos on. But listen, there's some things I can't touch, dude. I do a video on whatever you send me that's too hot for television, i.e. controversial, and they'll come down on me. And the only thing that'll happen if my channel gets deleted is someone will go, Rip, sorry Gundam, F in chat for respect, goodbye, see you on BitChute. Ready for the next package, Fluffy? This one's from Yeet. Obviously, the Yeet Master. Oh, he must have just discovered my, whoop. He must have just discovered my, this feels like it could be a book of some sort. It is. It's literally Yeet. I've never heard of this. Old guys who like old comics. When all else fails, Yeet. Presenting the Black Fury. Well, this looks funny. Oh, 
Oh, this is well made. This feels exactly like those old... Why is it... Oh, man. Maybe I've been reading too much Japanese stuff. Ah, oh, black and white. Damn it. I'll have to give this a, a read a little later. No, Fluffy. It's not for you. Fluffy, stop it. Stop doing this to Yeet. Well, thank you for... I believe this must be like a comic book made by the person who sent it to me. If so, that's pretty cool. It has that very golden age design almost. Doesn't it? Or am I going crazy? Yeah, this is very golden age. Or silver. This one's from Amazon. I feel something. Oh, we got something here, Fluffy. But where's the message? Ugh. I hope to God this like moves itself. Let's keep the dog. It's from Carlos. Enjoy the gift from Death Healer. Death Dealer. Hmm. Name rings a bell. Pet zone. Reduces boredom. Oh, and you put treats inside. Deters destructive behavior. Adjusts difficulty level. Shit, now I gotta go buy some treats, Fluffy. Uh, Shy Hood. U.S. Trading. Hmm. Uh, what? <laughs> it's like something in a Ziploc bag. It looks like an uh, elf suit. What is this? Get out of here. Enjoy your short underfoot elf. Enjoy you short under six foot elf. You son of a bitch. Made in China. Santa elf costume. What the fuck is this? It's literally elf shit. <laughs> it's only elf hats. There's three of them. I only have one head. There you go, Fluffy. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas, right? Uh-oh. Now you can't eat this. It's made in China, dear. Oh, boy. Dog's back. The bells have only encouraged her. I'll send one to Zill. Andress. Oh, God, no. Oh, Jesus, no. Hey, Gundam, enjoy your gift from Death Dealer. God damn it. Is this another hentai onesie? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Hentai pajama pants. I gotta admit, these hentai chicks are pretty hot, don't you think? I mean, I'm not a hentai man, but... Oh god, this is a... First the elf stuff, and now this. Yes. Let's just make me realize that I'm short and alone. You heartless bastards. This is from Texas Slabs. Hmm. Whoops. Move back, pup. Move back, pup. Move back, pup. Why don't you ever listen to me? Get back. It's from Texas. Lord help me. Hey, now. No wonder you're sticking your face in there. Something smells delicious. Get out of here, it's mine. Jerky samplers, sweet beans. Darn tasty beef jerky. Oh, delicious. Uh, let's see, solid strips of beef, smoke flavor, and produce beef. Oh, if it's from Texas, it's gotta be good beef. Uh, do they tell me which, escape? barbecue flavor. This was just beef jerky. Uh, teriyaki, my favorite. What's this? Mild? Uh-oh. These are the spicy ones. Please tell me there aren't any spicier ones in there. Sweet and spicy. That's a trick. You stick this in your mouth, you'll be... Oh, yeah. No way in hell. Look at these. Look at this. No. I'm not putting that in my mouth, sir. So hot you eat it. When you go to take a shit, it burns your asshole. It burns going in and it burns going out. 
Oh God, I do love jerky. It is the food of the gods. I'm gonna guess that Alex from Canada sent me that. Ugh, Fluffy, you are so in the way, it's not even funny. Ugh, how about you get down? Let's unplug the amplifier. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. <clears throat> ah, there you go again, right in my lap. These are from Carl. It's a project he's been working on for months on end. He contacted me and asked me if I could use a paint rack. At the time, I was like, I think I could. <laughs> because uh, my paint collection has been getting out of hand. I've been collecting paints for the past year. So, uh, he started making me paint racks. And these are the outcome. Honestly, they couldn't have come sooner. I so needed these. He doesn't have a store yet, but I think he's going to make these and sell them to people all over the net. He can also do custom stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what the fuck this is. I hope there's instructions for jackasses like me. Good lord, dude, this is a serious setup. It's more than I thought it would be. Paintbrush tray, well, you marked it. Combo drawer, I think. Combo drawer three. Jesus Christ, dude, it's, it's a model kit in and of itself. Two minis enclosed. Uh, paint all fragile and green wrap. Limited edition, only 300 made figure. My two, my twin bro and I had sculpted and cast. Open carefully. All right, this here is whatever you do, Fluffy. Whatever you do, don't mess with this one. Thanks in the green wrap, he said. Now, one of these, I recall he said was custom painted. Nope. Strider Mech Metal Fury. Now, this isn't the painted one. Maybe this is the special cast one. I recall him saying that they had specially made, obviously just sits on the box. And supposedly it's hyper rare. Well, obviously it must be if he said so. So I will just leave it in the box so that way it never gets ruined or screwed up. And it'll never be attacked by a small puppy. All right, Fluffy. Might as well see what this looks like. Like the curiosity has gotten the better of me. Yeah, that's pretty good paint, actually. It's quite impressive. Like, look at the tiny details. Ugh, stupid camera. I'm like, look at the tiny details. Camera focuses on dog. There we go. Look at that. Oh, don't do it to me, Kim. Please. Please. Do it myself. So much faster. Even added small moss. 2004 iron winds metals this is made of complete metal Jesus see that's the part right there that oh, really impresses me it's those tiny little details that, that can't be painted it has to be a decal yeah those decals for a second I thought it was hand painted up oh, this chipping on the paint right there hey fuck off dog these are rare dude wow talk about not professional. Fluffy. Fluffy. First we open the package. It's obviously for Fluffy. And she can't wait. Oh my. Go away dog. It's coming Fluffy. Just let me open it. Oh wow that razor is ridiculous. Okay, I fucked this. So look how I just cut through that. These are little bites. Yum, yum. Eat it on camera. Right there, Fluffy. Right. Oops. Oh, that's bad. That's a bad cut. <laughs> I'm rushing myself. Wait, you don't like them? 
What? No? No? Are you for real? No? Fluffy. You have to eat one on camera. Fluffy, please. Someone sent you a gift. Please eat one. Just one. It'll make people happy. Come on, look, it's delicious. Yummy, yummy. No? Okay, fine. Let me try one. It can't be that bad. You just become picky ever since you got popular. Okay, okay, you're right. It's bad. It's really bad. Ugh. What the fuck was this? Was it a rat pellet? What did I just put in my mouth? Ugh. No wonder she won't eat it. <laughs> it tastes like... I don't know what, but it wasn't a treat. That's for sure. Oh, now you want the treat. Nope, she just realized what it was. That was funny. She's like, ah, these are for me. Wait, it's the same nasty thing. I'm sorry. Well, thank you for ever saying it. I'm sorry Fluffy doesn't like the little bites. They don't taste good. They taste like bullion cubes. That's what they taste like. This one was sent two-day airmail. So I guess it was important to this person to send to me. Let me get their name. John. <clears throat> so let's see what's up in here, John. What's this? Um, it's a thing. Uh, mm, hmm. Well, the flyer. Get back, Fluffy. I don't know what it is yet. It looks like some sort of whip. Get out of the way, pup. I can't see, dog. Oh, no, wait. Is this a cat of nine tails? Looks like it. Could be a dildo. <laughs> oh, sweet fuck. Unfortunately, the girl I knew that was into S&M isn't really talking to me right now. This would have been perfect for her. Not bad. I mean, I'm whipping myself. I see how this can turn some people on. Like, oh, I've been very bad. I've been demonetized. Take that, you son of a bitch. This one's from V. Gonzalez, I believe. We'll just say Gonzalez. All right. That feels so... I can't see. Get your face out of there, dog. Smells like a woman. It does. For your eyes and ears only. Okay. I hope this is a woman. Because if it is... Ah, oh, my balls. It's a very effeminate man. Not to insult. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. I think it's a knife of some sort. Um, what? It's a phone? Okay. Strange. Oh, God, I hope this isn't, like, something drug-related or I'm fucked. You know, like, the police come down on me. Important reminder, the headphones can only be charged by 5-volt adapters. USB ports only. Quick charge devices over 5 volt may cause heat and fire. Dude, that sounds dangerous. Hmm. Well, thank you. I think you sent me your old stuff? Maybe? Not quite sure. Um, headphones. They look like they're in good shape. Don't know anything about the brand. I've never seen it before. I'm confused. But hey... Thank you, I guess. Please tell me this isn't something illegal. All right. Listen, I've been completely kept away from the police for a while now. I haven't been in trouble. I haven't run from the cops in years. I haven't been arrested or pulled over in a few years now. I'm doing pretty good. I can't afford any mishaps. I'll probably whip myself later. Okay, what's this? Hey, whoa, come on now. This is actually something legit. Super legit, actually. Gotta have a message, I'm sure. It's not an MG. 
It's the only one 100 I can find of it. Think, no inner frame, maybe a speed build. I was listening to your podcast with Zill when you were talking about the FZ. Might look good with the Alex, hopefully Cody. Ah, Cody, that's it. Oh, I hope his name wasn't there. Fuck me. <clears throat> Actually, Cody, you're on the money. This is something I did want because they didn't make a master grade of this kit, which is a shame. And yes, it would look fantastic with Alex. For those who don't know, this was piloted by Bernie, who then died unceremoniously like a hamburger. It's tragic. I wonder if I could speed build this. I don't think I'd be able to do it anytime soon because I'm uh, working on kits to go up on auction for charity and you guys, whoever's interested, will be able to bid on it. And then all the money goes to the Children's Hospital in Oakland, California. Last I recall. I am not running the auction. I just paint the kits. I send them to New Type HQ, I think. They do all the other rest of the lake work. You know, I have nothing to do with the rest of it. You catch me? Well, it's time to go because we're out of boxes. Let's enjoy a moment of Fluffy. Fluffy, please eat a treat. Please eat one treat for the people. Good girl. You threw it on the floor. You could have waited till I turned off the camera. Well, Fluffy's already on my lap, so that means we have to open boxes. Unfortunately, I think the post office has been making mistakes because this is the second time they've given me someone else's boxes, which means they've probably given away boxes for me too. And odds are, <laughs> knowing my luck, no one brings back my boxes. So fuckity fuck snacks. If you ever send anything, feel free to give me a tracking number. So if you sent something and you didn't see it in the, any of these videos and you got a tracking number at all, let me know. And then there's probably not much I can do depending on how long it's been now that I think about it. I don't even know how post office people keep making that mistake. And this one's from shipping department, LR Infinite Gifts. And the dog has just stepped on my tiny nuts. Can't see a thing, Fluffy. This feels very knife-like. Oh, holy shit, dude. Some serious packing, bro. What's this? Elk Ridge. Yeah, this feels very knife-like. I can tell through the power of Braille. What the? No, nah, this ain't a knife. This is a fucking tomahawk, dude. Get out of here, Fluffy. Get out of here. You're ruining my tomahawk moment. And now we're having camera difficulties because I'm an only person. <laughs> Fuck it. Get out of here, Pop. Get out of here. I think this was sent to me by the guy who also sent me the Native American prayer book. No, we don't need that. What the hell does that salt do? I gotta be careful with this, I can feel it. Now, this is serious, this is heavy duty. I was actually expecting something more Native American looking, but hey, can't complain. This thing's pretty badass. I wish I had something I could throw it at. Actually, I do. I have tons of blocks of wood. I just have to go to the garage and start chucking it. That would be fun. That would be seriously... It's made in China. It kind of ruins it a bit. <laughs> you know, you're getting that sort of Native American feel and this is made in China. Comes from Chris. Go away, Fluff. You're ruining my tomahawk moment. By the way, Widge Wallets also sent me a new phone case. It's very classy. Unlike me, I'm pretty trashy. Right, Fluffy? Good work, dog. Let's see what Cody sent. What's this? Well, hello, we've got a letter. Happy 300K, and here is 
one of two P Bandai kits I talked to you about. Hopefully you enjoy the other. Also, I included some stuff for Fluffy and Smokey. Fluffy got more because she's <laughs> she shows you more. I think it says shows up more. Okay, I'm getting closer. Also, it's holistic. Watch, just watch Fluffy live life. Fluffy, get over here and do cute things on camera. What that means for animals, I don't know. Uh, and sorry for your loss. I hope you're doing somewhat better, Cody. It's something I don't really care to talk of much. Maybe I'll do it later on a red band, like elaborate further. I, I don't want people feeling bad for me or you know, worrying about me. I, I'm always like this. It's just, it was probably a bad move of letting people know behind the mask. But something felt wet. It had to have been the work of Fluffy. This is a P Bandai MS06R1A, I think? It is, Zaku 2. This is a, wait, this is Gato's custom. Hey now. For those who don't know, Ana Volgato was the nightmare, holy shit. <laughs> Fluffy, no. Edit out my hair, I had to go to the doctor today. If you saw my hair, it's because uh, it looks like shit because I had to see the doctors for brainwave stuff and whatnot. As I was saying, for those who don't know, Ana Volgato is the Nightmare of Solomon, best known for being in Stardust Memories for 0083. Yeah, he's a cool character, actually. He has a great sense of style, love his hair. Reminds me of myself. And this is a P Bandai kit that, once again, I didn't know existed. Interestingly enough, it looks almost identical to the MS-02 Zaku Master Grade, and it shares a lot of the parts from what I can tell, but there are slight variations in design, especially for the thrusters and probably the leg areas. The hands and everything are exactly the same. Yeah, definitely, this guy will be a moderate amount of work. You know, depending on if you cared to paint the inner frame, heavily detailing it. Because these 2.0 older master grades used to really pack in the detail. They don't really do that anymore for Bandai. Alright, Fluffy, let's get you something. That's it. Look at, look at the dog go crazy. Okay, this is... This is Red Wolf, right? No, this is Blue Bull, my fault. These are made in America, Fluffy. Give me a second, ow, my leg, come on, bro. Yum, yum, what do you think? Ow, my foot. Fluffy, what do you think? Not bad, it doesn't smell putrid. So I could tell this is the type of treat Fluffy would actually eat. Good call, Cody. The last couple of treats she didn't like much. Here's another one. Oh, forgot I'm not wearing my shoes. How embarrassing. And one more for the show. One more for Fluffy. Oh yes, sweet God, such delicious treats. Whoops, what's that Fluffy? Oh, that's the camera thingy. We don't need that being on the floor. This one is uh, Wilderness Trail Treats. Grain-free biscuits. Duck recipe. Recipe. Forgive me. Oh, this is a big one. You like some biscuits? Hmm. Well, she seems to be eating it, so these are a win. Yeah, she definitely liked that when she left the room. When Fluffy leaves the room, that's when you know she loves the treat. The treat is actually a treat for Fluffy. And here's actually, whoa, hold on here. What luck. He sent me a P. Bandai Giradoga. Ryzen Schneider's you uh, don't know him very well. 
I wonder what's the difference between this P Bandai Giradoga and a normal Giradoga. And the reason why I'm lucky he sent this is because I have a resin kit for, well, let's get this down. I have a resin kit for Giradoga coming up. So now I have two kits, thankfully. Oh, wait, this is the chick with the blue Giradoga. Oh, yeah, she was pretty badass until she died. Spoiler alerts. Oh, I didn't even know. Wait, no, is it the eight? No, this has got to be the chick. How come they don't give her, like, her own personalized uh, figure? That's where P. Bandai screws up. They don't give you, like, the pilot figure of the specialized character. That's the least they could do, considering they tack on extra prices for this. The fact that they have not made the Gear Zulu dude is, like, it's disgusting, honest to God. <laughs> like, that is the coolest, one of the coolest Xeon suits, and they still haven't made it. What are they thinking? Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure, you know, third-party guys will create the Gear Zulu. Well, thank you, Cody. This is pretty sweet, actually. I think I will keep it in the original colors. And then I'll have a resin kit to compare versus the original Bandai armor. And it gives people an idea or a sense of what to expect in the major differences in detail. Oh, that reminds me. Because I kept it in here. I read your letter. Okay, making sure it does. I read your letter, Gonzalez. Uh, I just, well, I, you only gave me your last name in the beginning of your first. So thank you very much. It was lovely. It was nice to receive a love letter from a woman for a change. Hopefully you're really a woman and you're not a man tricking me or I will be very hurt by these turn of events. Thank you for sending the letter. It was very touching. You didn't have to send a phone. I was able to get one. It was just for my sister and I was really dragging my feet on it because I really didn't want to get her phone and I didn't want to pay for her to have a phone because I know I'll never ever get the money back ever. So I may as well spend it on lottery. At least I get the thrill of thinking I might get the money back. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, why. Also, I think you sent me a Metro whatever, a Metro CPH or PC uh, phone, and it wasn't unlocked, so I couldn't use it with my service provider. So that was another issue. I'm sorry. But thank you very much, though. That was very kind. I did use the headphones. They're fairly nice. Even though I don't know what the brand is. Oh, look who's back. It's Treatler. What do you want, Treatler? More treats? Wait a second. Uh... I'm pretty sure he said he sent smoky treats. This is it. I'm blind. You're not getting smoky treats, Fluffy, so forget it. One more treat for the road. You can have a wild bite because, frankly, I'm going to have to break up your duck treat before you choke yourself half to death on camera again, which isn't exactly something that YouTube wouldn't demonetize me for. Man unboxes P.O. Box videos while puppy dies in the background. <laughs> uh, and of course, okay, Fluffy, come on now. Jesus H. Christ. Hello. Damn the dog, no. Ah, uh, this is from Amazon Fulfillment. I forgot. Towards buddy, not your body. But it's such a hard habit to break. Okay, Fluffy, what you see? What the hell is this? It looks like an octopus. Okay, Fluffy, I get it. It's yours. Calm down, Fluffy. Technically, Fluffy's birthday is on the 27th. We're literally days away, so Friday. Happy birthday, Fluffy. Hopefully this one takes a bit longer to destroy. Cheers, Alex. Alex from Canada always sends Fluffy the best gifts. And in the right time, because she just recently killed... Every aardvark she had but one. She rips their faces off and their heads off and then pulls the stuffing out of them. As cute as this dog is, she's very bloodthirsty. All right, Fluff, let's see what we got here. What have we got here, Fluffster? Oh, look at that. All right, I got to cut off that uh, Fluffy. I can't see. <laughs> okay, that didn't help. It's a toy. 
and Fluffy's gone with it. God damn it, now we gotta do a Fluffy segment. This package is from Tim. What the? Holy shit. I remember this. How do you get this shit here so quick? Dude, no way. But he must have sipped it from Japan. So look at this. This is kanji. You little bitch. All my years of anime has taught me how to read Japanese. No, it hasn't. I'm lying. This is... Well, first is a message. This was from Tim. I believe he's currently serving in Japan uh, in the military. I could be wrong. He was going off to a 7-Eleven to buy a couple cans of beer and won this. What you might not know about this, and I didn't know either till a lot of Google searching and till someone Asian told me, this is actually a very rare kit. It's for the 40th anniversary of Gundam. The only kit that's rarer than this one is the RX-78 Origins Gundam. It'll have like an A on it. The B stands for something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't there like an S ranking with the Japanese? They have S, A, B, C, whatever. This is like the second best, I think, currently. And I should thank Tim profusely for sending this to me. And from his letter, he started binge watching my videos over a six week period, which is kind of amazing. I don't know how anyone could binge watch me. I live with me every day and can't stand me. So he, so he sent me an email and told me he won this and asked if I had it. I said I didn't, which I don't. This is actually super rare. Like literally it's a lottery to win one of these. That's how it works in Japan. I don't even know what to say. Thank you for sending it to me, dude. Like part of me wouldn't mind building it and only painting the parts that require paint like here, and leaving the rest clear. Someone sent me a month ago the 30th anniversary version, but it wasn't like this. That one came with clear legs only. This one has an entire clear section, head, arms, and legs, and the shield. The torso's normal. Everything else is clear. So thank you very much, Tim. I did not expect you to send this so soon. By the way, Fluffy is enjoying her toy. Let's see how long it lasts before she rips a piece of it off. Because that's how Fluffy lives. She's a female, she has to destroy things. Also, while uh, trying to chuck this around and pretending that I was, pretending I was in Assassin's Creed 3, <laughs> don't judge me. I realized something very cool about this, if the camera would focus. That's the one Achilles heel about the G7 Panasonic Luminex camera. The autofocus is pure trash. You have to do everything yourself, frankly. Look at this. Papa Gundam, the Twitch Thought Manhunter. It's engraved. How do you like that? Didn't notice that the last time, probably because I was enjoying the hand. This is genuinely nice. You have no idea how throwable this is. It just, you could do that, just that, and it still sounds like it's cutting the air. This is the non-rip technology toy Fluffy just got. It has been, what, 10 minutes? 20?
manufacturing process proceeds to add super tough durable liner to the toy making it strong enough to stand up to even the toughest play dogs are tough but shoe guard technology is tougher look how small this dog is shoe guard technology can't handle a dog some people would consider a rodent. <laughs> oh, that, look at that tough technology. Stand up to that dog chewing. This package is from Master Zero 99. Oh, it says fragile. And I better open it off camera. So that way I can open it right side up without his address being shown. Come on, fluff. Fluffy. Look, it's right here. Calm down. If there's a piece of address, dog, I'm going to be mad. Sit down, Fluffy. Your pal, Master Zero. P.S. Big ups to STU for his benefit. The scenes work. Wait. Whoops. This is a long one. How's it going? As mentioned last time, here's another gift from Japan. Oh, as I mentioned, Master Zero, is that the guy who sent me the picture of himself outside the Gunpla factory. Mention I wanted to get you that unicorn perfect grade, but looks like you got hooked up. That's awesome. Uh, so since everyone else is sending you more and more model kits, I thought I'd get you, nice, slap that on my hand fluffy, get you more paints. Also, sorry, it's not in a box. The dude at the store just threw the paints in the bag and out I went, dick weasel. Also, I went to the Gundam Cafe in, I can't even read that, Aki, a, that is Akiyabara, and got you a coffee mug, Shars Red Zaku mug for you, whiskey. Bro, keep doing what you're doing. Me, like all of your fans, really admire all the work you do. So, we'll keep on supporting you and your content. And that is why we will send you gifts to show you our love and support. So hope these gifts make your day, bro. Like always, appreciate you and your work. More gifts coming in the future. Your pal, Master Zero 99 Big ups to STU for his behind-the-scenes work. I wonder who's ST... Stu! Oh! That's supposed to say Stu. So it's S-T-E-W, actually, but it's just S-T-U there. Well, let's see what we got here. This mug looks very tiny. That's probably because people in Japan have small hands. That's where I usually get my clothes and motorcycle gear from the Japanese because it fits. Can't see, dog in the way. Come on, Fluffy, quit being a dick. Cool beans. Oh, this is from Gundam The Origin. Oh, you just licked my mug. Let's keep that in a box because it's pretty legit. Yeah, maybe I won't. I'm gonna have to get like an area showing off my fantastic collection of coffee mugs now. Let's see what type of paint straight from Japan we got here. Can't see. Dog in the way. Uh, can't see. You know, Fluffy, you're a pretty big dick. Uh, let's see what we got here, Captain. Ah, green. This is actually a color I use. It's a uh, Mr. Colors primary green. I use that often. Metallic black. Red matter. Could always use an extra red matter. Super silver for Mr. Color. I've never used this color before, but it is quite interesting looking actually. I'm like looking without looking at the camera. The dog finally got down. We can now do things correctly. Here we go. Mr. Color Green, Matter, you, you'll need that every now and then. This looks like Character Blue, haven't used that one before. And Standard Yellow. Not bad selections. Actually, some of these I already have. So there's nothing wrong with having duplicates of paint, uh, by the way, especially if you paint as much as I do these days. Extra black, uh, so we'll take these and put them in the, do I already have yellow? Well, we'll find out later. We'll put these in the, holder I have for paints. 
so they'll be immediately used and these will go to the backup section. Thank you, Master Zero 99. This one is from Dog Hitting Me in the Balls. Uh, this is a little hard to read. Told declaration. Okay, that's definitely not English. Priorite. It could be Spanish. And well, how do we open it? Dude, this is actually a nice box. I wish the American Post Office would use something like this. Okay, we've we've reached the point of. Okay, let's flip it again. Oh well, if we go a, eh, damn it, the Cockney came out. Can't see dog in my face. Hey there, Gundam. Me and some friends recently visited Japan. Damn it, Fluffy. And we could not visit the unicorn statue while we were there. Was thinking of getting you a Gundam kit, but since I don't know which ones you actually, which ones are actually worth your time, I instead went with something that will make you so much more attractive to the ladies. As you can see, Fluffy is definitely into it. Uh, and if they don't like it, they can eat a bag of dicks, right? That joke has always been made. Then they won't get to try any of the random weird Swedish candy you found in a box from overseas. The Swede. Thank you. Swedish candies are a big, big win, my friend. What's this thing? Looks Gundam related. It is. Jesus Christ, this looks huge. It is the Unicorn Gundam. The Beast of Possibility. That's pretty cool. For reference, <sighs> Fluffy loves bags. She loves them. Let's see what size this is. Come on, Fluff. I can't see, Fluffy. Uh, ah, large. Fuck. Technically, the biggest I can wear is medium, but usually small fits. But whatever, large is fine. I'll rock it. It's pretty fucking cool, dude. The shirt's pretty baller. And now on to the Swedish candies. Polly's. Or Polly. It looks like uh, Milk Duds from America. Butter, toffee on the inside, huh? Dumel, original. I think I've tried these before. And these are uh, Belar. Goddest Bill? Okay, uh, don't know what that is. I don't know what these are. They, they're very squeezy. What are they supposed to be, little fish? I'm not quite sure. Interesting box design. Figures it's Swedish. Look at this. It like collapses into itself. And the friction keeps it closed. No, Fluffy, none of these are for you. Thank you, that sleeve, for the chocolate, man. Now, this package, I had to travel around town to get. You get back here before you fall. And it's from Brian. He emailed me about it because uh, FedEx does not deliver packages to P.O. boxes. So if you do ship anything, FedEx might not be the best option. Unless you use FedEx Smart Post, then the post office will take it. But if you just use normal FedEx, they won't for some odd reason. Must be some sort of deal or something, you know? Hey Gundam, wanted to get you something to show that your dog is an asshole. Fluffy. <laughs> Damn it, dog. Show my appreciation for your content and listening to you in general. This is for the bad days and hopefully they are few when you get big one day. Leave New York for God's sakes. <laughs> I worked up there for work occasionally and it's depressing place. <laughs> it's a depressing place. Yeah, no shit, dude. <laughs> You're telling me the cloudy gray skies and the lack of anything good didn't get your soul singing, sir? Back roads are good for riding, that's true, but the people suck. I will not disagree with you there, Brian. You're preaching to the choir, dude. There's a saying I know in my childhood that I understood more as I got older. You can't always get what you want, 
but you get what you need. <laughs> Stay positive and keep being yourself. That's why people love you. Fuck Zill. LOL. Brian. Well, thank you, Brian. Uh, I agree with you. Upstate does suck. I'd love to get out, but uh, I don't think there's any way out anymore with uh, what YouTube's doing. With their whole new thing that they added, hiding people's like subscriber counts, it's another effort to suppress people's channels without you being able to really pinpoint things and have proof. You know, it's really fucked up. 15 year old sipping whisk. This has to be homemade or something. How do you get it open? <sighs> Motherfuck. That is like, dude. This shit is like a time capsule, bro. Look at this. Ah, Fluffy! You're ruining it! Seriously, this is actually... It's falling apart, but that kind of adds to the charm. It's like getting whiskey from the 1800s. That's cool. For a second, I thought he made it himself. If he did, that's like this whole thing, everything about it has such great touches. It's so nice that like, I don't even want to open it. <laughs> I don't think a man should be looking at bottles like this and thinking, it's too nice to open. I want this to sit on a desk till I'm like an old man. But then like, you know, if I had a kid or if I decided to teach some local kid some skills or something, he'd come in and see all this shit and go, that old guy used to be someone back in the early 2000s. Now he's just an old drunk with really old bottles of whiskey he didn't open because he thought that they were too nice looking. So he made me drink box wine. This has to be some of the craziest padding I've ever seen, bro. Like you went way overboard to pad this, my dude. This is nice. Thank you very much, Brian, for the letter and especially this whisk. Everything about it is like so classic. Dude, I gotta show this to like my fucking friend Doug. He would dig this shit. I'm showing this shit to Doug right now as soon as I stop recording. This is cool. Uh, how the fuck do I open this box? Let's make sure we don't dox anyone's home, you know? Move, dog. I can't see. What is it? Fluffy, I can't see. Fluffy. It could be poison, Fluffy. It is. I can't see. Wait, what's this? It's a dice. Uh, drink two cups. Drink it well. Bottom up. Drink half cup. Hmm. What's the Sex in a can. What the? God damn it. It looks like a condom. Let me move my face back. Wait, what the? What is this? Contains... Glow in the dark condom. Road head rib and cum catcher. Wh what? What? Aspirin breath mint ruler. Hazmat bag. Lubricating jelly. Handy nap. And game dye. Well, you know. I don't know what to say to this other than it's a fantastic. I'm gonna save this for when something hot happens. You know, maybe some Twitch thought will get a, uh, don't lick the game dice, Fluffy. You don't know where it's been, dear. Oh, silly dog. She's like, oh, let me take a look. Let's go for something easy to open. This one's from Amazon Fulfillment. Oh, that was a good cut. I didn't screw it up. Can't see. What is it, Fluffy? I can't see, because you're in the way. 500 dick pics. Literally 500 pictures of dicks. Sorry, I saw this and I thought of you. <laughs> Hope you get a laugh. Keep up the good work from Obijin. God damn it, Obijin. It couldn't have been breasts, women's butts. It had to be, I'm sending this to Zell, dude. I don't care if there's like import taxes, that's going to Zell tax. 
God damn it. This. Is it candy? What the hell is this? <laughs> and the dog fucking fell face first. What is this, dude? 3D mold. Can I even look at this on screen? What is this? Sex product for men. Real experience. Oh God, I'm getting shit on this week. They've got like an Asian woman, so this obviously comes from Asia. Dave want to open this. I mean, technically, I don't think YouTube will let me even show it. It's a giant torso of a woman. Ew. Ew, it's all like slimy feeling. Ugh. Yeah, no. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have touched that. I really shouldn't have done that. Who sent that? They didn't even leave a they didn't even leave a message so that I could chastise you online, sir. What's this? Oh hey! Wait, there's a note. Ugh. Whoops. It's Freedom Gundam 2.0. Okay. I recognize you sent me this. He emailed me first. Let's see what we got here. I'm typing this because my handwriting is hot trash. Good idea. I wrote a letter today and I didn't think of typing it. Too late now, I already sent it. Damn it. <laughs> I hope this made it without getting too ba banged up. Hopefully putting this together will give you some solace after watching too many Twitch dots. I know you're more of a UC guy, but some of the C mobile suits are pretty cool too. I will admit that some of the C designs are beautiful actually. The Freedom Gundam being one of them. And the ironic thing is, he also said, the Freedom Gundam being one of them. How do you like that, am I right? I guess this is part of where I get a little selfish and ask you if you'd be willing to do a video on Freedom Gundam V2. At least going over it. I heard nothing but good things about this kit. And honestly, you're the one who got me back into Gundam models after all these years. If not, no biggie. You're a busy guy. Ultimately, I just hope you enjoy this. If you don't mind, email me at... Okay. Well, when you get this, so I know UPS didn't fuck everything up. Thanks for all the videos you do. At the cost of your own sanity. Thank you for helping me rediscover a hobby I had forgotten about long ago. Well, it was basically the subscribers that got me into Gundam... Connor and it's weird to see that I'm getting other people into it it's like the circle of life or something from what I understand the Freedom Gundam 2.0 is probably one of the best master grades that was ever created uh, not much room here hey and this is actually the second Freedom Gundam I got but I wasn't going to be a dick and just be like hey I already got one of these you know like feel free to send it I get a double I get a double usually when I get multiple model kits of the same kit I paint them if I get a chance and I give the duplicate away on patreon to anyone who follows me there after I've painted it and put it together because I figured a painted kit would have more of an impression on people rather than me sending you a kit that isn't put together but it doesn't happen often due to the lack of time and how much effort it takes to paint these things so thank you very much, Connor. And I do find actually a lot of solace in painting. Let's keep this up here because it's nice to look at. The box art is fantastic. The kit is great. I will be building one of these. Oh no, my Jack Daniels. <laughs> Jesus Christ, today's not my day. Pictures of dicks, rubber women's torsos. Now I look like a psychopath. But thank God for you, Connor. You sent me something good. <laughs> oh, don't forget my sex in a can. Very sexy. Can't wait to have a woman over. I don't even know what this dye does with the damn sex in the can. There isn't a drink in the can. Whatever. Anyway, I will probably paint this, put it together. Can we zoom out or something? Asshole. <laughs> and display it up next to a resin kit conversion of Freedom Gun 2.0. I think that'd be really cool, but that's down the line, maybe over the winter when I have more free time and I don't promise to do things for other people when I barely have enough time to go to sleep.
This is a big one from Amazon Fulfillment. Please God, no more dicks. No, Fluffy, I said no more dicks. That includes Fluffy. You're trying to jump under the box. What's that smell? Oh God, no. Oh God, no. The dog ate cat. No! Get away from me, you filth wizard. Why would you jump on my lap with shit breath? Cool. Every time I do something, I swear that cat takes a shit. Every time. If I'm eating, he shits. If I'm crawling into bed, he'll shit. If I'm opening P.O. Box stuff, he shits. Then the dog eats it. <sighs> when he's dead, I'm not getting any more cats. I'm done with that. He's currently sitting in the door, fat as can be, lazy as hell. He doesn't even... Who ever heard of a cat that uses a litter box, dude, and doesn't cover his litter? He leaves it out in the open for the dog to eat. Anyway, back to the package. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Not doing these again, dude. <laughs> this has to be Alex from Canada. All these rabbit figures. Fluffy just kills them instantly. What's this? Oh, you stink so bad. You smell like cat shit. It's disgusting. Chew bone. Now this could work. The rabbit's fluffy just chokes on the fur and then tries to eat the eyes and it becomes a choking hazard. It's a big mess. But the chew bones, dude, this could be useful. No! Filthy! Filthy animal! Oh. Disgusting. Disgusting. Get it, move your face. I'm gonna give you this bone and you can get off my lap and you can go somewhere because you stink. You stink so bad. You gnarly little freak. I'm opening it as fast as possible, Fluffy. And she fell. Calm down, Fluff. Let me open the package. Please, God, let this keep her at bay, Lord. Please, sweet animal God, Jesus. Please let her like that stupid thing. This one came all the way from dog in my lap. Japan. Um, lots of squiggly lines here. As you can see, this says a lot of things because the camera won't. I love this camera, but it's autofocus is the absolute worst. What does this all say? Well, fuck it. Let's open it. What is she doing? No, no, get away from those rabbits. I'm not going through rabbit mania. No, Fluffy, for the love of Bob Saget. Oh my God, fine. I have to be careful with this. Fluffy, that's right, I forgot. Oh, forget it, forget it. Move your face. Can't see. What is this? What is this? the plastic it looks like the age one Gundam whoops uh oh well she's gone now wait a second ugh God, I swear the Japanese man, when they pack something, dude. Oh no! What a fuck up! This is obviously Fluffy's fault. Ugh, okay. It is a. Whoops. Jesus, I gotta get a wireless mic for this. That's what I need to do. It is a uh, 148th scale Age 1 Gundam. I didn't even know they made these. 
I know there's like a 148 scale Gundam. I know there's a 148 scale Zaku 2. I didn't know they made a 148 scale Age 1 Gundam. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what I could do with this. Well, let's take a look at the manual. It has to be simplistic if it's 148 scale. I don't imagine that they would give it an inner frame or anything. That would just make it harder to build or something. That looks like, yeah, pretty rudimentary. It's like a giant high grade. But if painted properly, I guess it could be really cool, right? I've never even seen these in American stores. It does have its own lighting system, honestly. Why bother giant buying this giant thing? I could just get like uh, some LEDs and hook them up myself. Not need to buy some overpriced Bandai stuff right there, am I right? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? This could be an easy build. Extremely easy. Fairly quick. The only thing that would make it slow would be painting it. But there'd be absolutely no point to build it and not paint it. Am I right? It could be really cool. So thank you. I'm going to guess that's from Alex from Canada. Because that guy always finds stuff that I didn't know existed. Whoops. This is from Show Store. I know. Very expressive, am I right? Feels heavy. I got a slight feeling this could be cool. Please let it be cool. If a giant dick comes out, man, or if it's like some more gay stuff. All right, it's Chinese writing. It's a little banged up in shipping, unfortunately. That doesn't seem good. Fluffy, no, that's not a toy for you. Wait a second. There's a lot of pieces here. What the hell is this? I'm like knocking over all sorts of shit just trying to get this open, dude. It's a Cassatria. Painted up into Char's colors? That is something I did not see coming, in all honesty. Uh, what? A Char version of the Cassatria, and this isn't even focusing? Like, this looks like a metal version, like the metal build version. Oh, I don't even know what to say because on one hand, it's like, oh my God, it's Cassatria. On the other hand, it's like a Char version. I've never seen this before. When did they come out with a Char version of this? Like, I know there's a normal Cassatria, my personal favorite, but you're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I got to put this thing together, dude. All right. I had to stop the video to try and put this thing together because it is actually huge. This is a Metal Build Club Cassatria. Not just anyone. Apparently, this is the Char Asnable paint scheme for it, which technically doesn't exist. It's like a variant. I don't know what the thought process was, but hey, whatever. This was sent to me by MCJ. I think the guy is rich because he said something about a 172nd scale Def Scythe Hell Custom. I, I don't even know what to make of it, dude. I didn't even know this stuff existed. I will admit, I'm not gonna lie, the joints kinda suck a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I would've personally preferred the normal Cassatria color because I just love it. I love that whole green aesthetic and because Marita Cruz, if I had to have an anime waifu, it would probably be her. She's such a hottie. She could beat the living hell out of you, defend you, and pilot a mobile suit that has like 40 bajillion funnels. These little red things here. Nonetheless, this is still quite cool. It's actually 
I'm going to say I think I like this better than the official Bandai metal, whatever the hell kit figures are called. Probably because I'm biased towards the Cassatria. But this thing is huge. It is gigantic. I, I can't even give you a proper idea of scale. Look how much room this takes on my desk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm going to fit inside my glass case. It, look, how, look, look at my hand. It's bigger than my hand. It's beautiful. Even in Char Red, which is still a good color scheme. It's really nice, dude. Thank you very much. I actually had to stop the video to put it together, and I did not stop until I got most of it together. And it still comes with a ton of other accessories. Unfortunately, uh, the company sent me the wrong color expansions for the machine guns. It's in the original Cassatria green. So that's really gonna clash with the red. <laughs> what were the odds, am I right? Gatling guns, he also sent me a metal feed ammo belt for this. I got that first like months ago. It's sitting in my other room. It also has tons of effect parts. It's actually, this is better than what Bandai has offered thus far when it comes to metal kits. Technically, well, it's not even a kit. It's a metal build figure. You don't put this together, really. You just snap a few parts in place, and then you're done. Overall, it's still gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Probably because I really love this design. It's so Oh God, I think there was more shit eaten. Why was... Oh, Jesus, I can't even enjoy the Cassatria. But thank you very much, dude. I still love this thing. It is beautiful. It's very sturdy. Some joints are less... Like this arm just goes up and down. It doesn't care. It's a little hard to put in a place. I'd say it's probably like quality control because this is like a Chinese company doing these. The butt piece always pops off. It does not hold in place very well. But since I don't fiddle with this or any of the stuff I paint, it, it won't be a problem inside of a glass case. Beautiful. I love this thing. It is phenomenal. I'll probably spend the next 30 or 40 minutes trying to put together the machine guns, which technically, there are no instructions for this. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass. You, you just gotta wing it. Hello, Fluffy. Did you eat more poop like a bad dog? Yes, you did, didn't you? She's proud of it too. She's like, yes, I did enjoy some poop. It was utterly delicious, Daddy. I love the taste of Fancy Feast through Smokey's Bottom. Oh, well, thank you guys for sending stuff, especially to Fluffy. She's really happy with the treat she got for her birthday. Thank you for sending me all of these figures and stuff. Thank you for being here. Um, nobody minds. I didn't really think I'd get anywhere this far. I didn't think anybody care enough about me to send me like model kits and dick pics. <laughs> Fluffy, please don't knock down Cassatria. I will be very upset. God, look how big Cassatria is. Even Fluffy. Look, Fluffy, look how big that thing is. See, either it's big or you're small. I forgot my point because I was too busy fucking with this dog. Thank you to everyone. You know, even if you just watch my videos, it's more than I ever thought I'd amount to, in all honesty. More than I ever dreamed of. Well, I had bigger dreams than this, but you know, life throws your curveball in. Sometimes you just work with it, and before you know it, you're playing with tiny robotic figures. No, oh, I should probably get going. I'll probably do a review for this on my uh, painting channel. It's certainly worthy of it. I mean, it feels a work of art. You know what would be cool? If they would just, if they made these, but a, like in sort of a kit form, kind of, like have an endoskeleton already put together, fine, I don't care but give me the ability to paint it myself because I'd love to get some cascading colors on this. But what can you do, right? I don't think Bandai is gonna make a kit of this anytime soon. It'll be like 10 years from now before they do a master grade or perfect grade Cassatria, if we're even lucky for those of us into this sort of crap. I, I feel busted enough. All right, gonna open up the left. Oh, come on, 
Fluffy, holy shit. What a jump. This one's from Amazon and okay. Good work, Fluff. Hey Gundam, a little present for you. I recently got caught up on Berserk, so I thought why not order volume two? 40s and sin one to Papa Gunnam. Greeting from the et I'm sorry. Greeting from the Netherlands, Cas Vidahal. I probably read that so wrong. Let's see which one this is. Ah, I actually don't have this one. Thank you. I've read Berserk like I don't know how many times, but this is the first time I'm able to actually get my hands on hard covers, which is fantastic because uh it's, ah, it's something so visceral, if you will, about actually holding the book in your hands and looking at it rather than reading them digitally, which is how I read Berserk for God knows how many years. So thank you, Cass. This one is from Moonfin. Oh, Amazon. Okay. Don't need to hide me. Thank you, Fluffy. What's this? Can't see. Hey, Papa Gundam, congrats on hitting 300K. Have a couple bag of dicks on me. This is item one of two. Sincerely, Dad. It's only plastic. Turton Tucker. Super fun penis candy. Yum, yum. Let's send that to Ziltex. See, when I send stuff to Zil. He has to play, he has to pay what union dues or something like that, some crazy crap taxation. Imagine sending stuff to Zill and the taxation reads candy dicks. This one's from a lovely lady named Cassandra. Oh, I'm getting popular with the chicks. It's only about time, it only took 300,000 subscribers. Good work, Fluffy. Get out of here, Fluff, I can't see. What's this? Oh, it's a dog toy. Something else that looks cute. Well, I guess Cassandra was sending gifts to Fluffy, not me. Shit. For a second there, I was starting to feel like, ho, 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 ho. Who's getting cute for the ladies? Uh, Freeman feeling legendary. Poor cleansing. Ash. Peel off gel mask. I think this goes on your face or does it go on the dog? Cosmetic, hypo, holographic, peel off mask. Oh, I was sitting there thinking hypoallergenic for some reason. Okay, so definitely isn't for the dog, it's for me. She knows that I have very rough masculine skin. This has to be for the dog because I know as small as people think I am, this won't fit me. Get out of the way, Fluffy, so people can see your new Halloween outfit that you will be subjected to wear. Do you hear me, Fluffy? I'll put that shit on you right now, actually. <laughs> you see, it's about time you got some embarrassment. <laughs> this is funny. I can now fully embarrass Fluffy. Oh, that is cute. That is actually cute. Feel embarrassment, Fluffy. Get back here. People have to see you in it. Look at that cuteness. Look at that cuteness. Get back here. She loves it. Look at her go. She absolutely loves it. That's why she's trying to kill it. That's a sign that she enjoys it. Don't you love your new shirt? It's for Halloween. Oh, that was fun. Ugh. There we go. It's a fluffy show. Now let's read, I believe, Cassandra's message. Where's the envelope so I can make sure they got the thing correctly? Just. So, the toy's for Fluffy. It's cute and looks like a little imp. Uh, I think this is like a tiny demon rather than an imp. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. Make sure you don't get cut. Back to the message. The toys are Fluffy. It's cute and looks like a little imp. I hope the sweater fits him. Well, Fluffy's a girl. 
I don't know if it gets cold there. It does, but I keep the place warm. And Fluffy's an Alaskan Eskimo, so I don't think they're that against cold weather. Choo Choo used to love playing in the snow. Get it. Fuck it up, Fluffy. Fuck it up like my life. The face masks are for your girlfriend's wife and Billy. Ah, oh, that's cute. She still thinks I'm seeing someone. Someone cue the uh, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend music. If you're, not, if you're not alert to anything, I'll send you chocolate from my hometown next time. Hope it gets to you safely. K-Y-B-P-S. Post more Gundams and check your Insta daily. Sort of. I get a lot of messages on my Instagram. Like, I don't think people understand how many messages I get on Instagram plus... Oh, I get messages every Instagram, Discord, Twitter, Twitch, um, my emails. Is anywhere else I get messages? I don't know. There might be. It's kind of hard to keep up these days. I'm not going to lie to you. I try, but it's not realistically feasible anymore. I've gotten to the point of where it's like there's so many messages. I can't keep up. But thank you very much for this lovely little jacket. It is fantastic. It's cute. I was going to say it's festive, but I don't think that's the right word for Halloween. Fluffy, do you feel festive? Do you feel um, whatever Halloween phrases are used for Halloween? Yes? Look at she's so cute. She's a cute little muffin wearing your cute little clothes. Ew, slime. Well, that should do it for me. This is a good way to end the video. Focusing on fluffy dress for Halloween. There could be no better ending. And thank you to everybody who sent anything. Because I don't even know what to say. It's amazing anyone cares to do this for me. It really is. It still doesn't seem real to me. It's hard to convey, you know? It really is. So, I will leave you with the magic of Fluffy.